In the early stages of opioid use, it can be difficult to see the signs, especially if your son or daughter continues to function in his or her everyday life. As opioid use escalates, some fairly visible signs begin to emerge, along with other more subtle warning signs, like changes in your son or daughter's behavior or things you may notice around the house. Telltale physical warning signs of opioid use, whether intravenous or not, are pinpoint pupils and nodding off. One of the most visible warning signs specific to IV use is track marks, the scars and bruising that appear on the skin along the veins of someone who frequently injects. The most common and frequent injection sites are along the inner arm, but some people also inject in their hands, feet, legs, or even the groin. IV substance use leaves behind other distinct clues as well, all of which should raise a red flag. Spoons or foil with burn marks. Burns on fingers, which are the result of preparing substances for injection. Hidden or improperly disposed syringes, needles, or syringe caps. Glassine bags stamped with names like Superman, Pitbull, and Crazy Horse. Cotton balls, Q-tips, or cigarette filters used to remove impurities before injecting. Rubber straps or bands, or even missing shoelaces, commonly used as a tourniquet to help raise veins to the surface of the skin prior to injection. Be on alert for any of these subtler signs as well. Missing prescription pain medications. Wearing long sleeves in warm weather. Weight loss. Avoiding family and social situations that would prevent use, like a vacation or even a prolonged outing. Spending excessive time locked in their bedroom or a bathroom alone. Missing money or other items missing from home. Flu-like symptoms, which may actually be signs of withdrawal. Receiving unusual packages in the mail. It's shockingly easy to have illicit drugs and paraphernalia delivered right to one's home. One of the best ways to spot problems with substance use is to know who your teen or young adult is spending time with. IV substance use, in particular, tends to be learned from and introduced by other friends and acquaintances. In fact, it's not unusual to begin use with a significant other, particularly among young women. Once substance abuse is initiated, it may become a more solitary behavior as well. If you observe any of these warning signs, keep watching to learn what you can do now to start helping your son or daughter.